everybody, it's me Adele and welcome to my channel Sofa Serenity where I talk to you about my sewing journey. I talk to you about my love for dressmaking, fabrics, patterns and we have general sewing and live chit chat. So if that sounds of interest to you, please keep on watching. Welcome back to all my regular viewers and if you're new here, I hope you enjoy this vlog and consider subscribing. So welcome to my Friday Sews vlog where I talk to you about what I've been doing in the world of sewing. It's Friday the 23rd of September today and it's been a busy week for me in the world of sewing and I'm really keen to let you know what I've been doing. First of all, let me show you what I'm wearing. I keep forgetting to do this, so I'm trying to get in a good habit of it. I'm wearing the Jarrah sweatshirt from Megan Nielsen. I've made the tie version and it's in this mustard colour, cosy colours. Sweatshirting, which you can see has like these specks in it, which is beautiful. I've got some grey and some um, like wine colour as well, which I really would like to make don't think I've got enough for a whole outfit but I was thinking of doing some kind of colour blocked um, jumper or cardigan so yeah it's really really comfy and it's definitely cosy. The main priority last week was getting my dresses that I had to make up for my project dresser girl so this is where I was making six dresses for the project dresser girl challenge which is currently being run by Mary Sews over on YouTube and Instagram and she is the um, ambassador for the sewing community around this and basically you just have to sew six dresses um, sew on a label and get them sent off to your ambassador in your country so I agreed to do six um, and I managed to get them all sewn up so I'm really really pleased about that um, I've sent them all off as well now and I'm not going to talk about them in too much detail. My vlog is due on the 24th, so on Saturday it will it will be out. So tomorrow um, it will be out for you guys to watch. And it's basically so address with me in an hour. Um, I'm quite I'm towards the end of the um, vlog schedule, so I wanted to make it a little bit different. So I wanted to show you that even though there's only a little bit, bit over a week left for this project, um, you have got time to make a dress and you can sit and sew with me um, over my lunch hour and see if I manage to get a dress completed in an hour. So that'll be out tomorrow. So hit the notification bell if you don't so you get um, notified as soon as that comes out. Next, let's talk about my ball gown. So it's just, under, it's just over a week until the dressmaker's ball from when I'm filming this and I still haven't sewed up my dressmaker's ball dress. Um, the dressmaker's ball is on the 1st of October being hosted by the Crafty So and So at the City Rooms in Leicester. And there's loads of vloggers going um, so it's going to be an absolutely amazing event. Now I have cut out my lining for my dress, that's all ready to sew up. I have had a massive disaster though, oh, I am exaggerating a little bit, I've had a bit of a disaster. What I did when I ordered my fabric, I didn't realise it was narrow fabric. So cut my lining out the other day and then went to cut out my actual main fabric which for those of you that haven't been watching I've got this silk satin indigo fabric and this silk satin burnout fabric with this gorgeous print all over it in emerald green now they're both narrow fabrics and because of how the dress is constructed this is a dress I'm making and I have my heart set on this dress now. It's basically six pieces, uh, uh, ignore the neckline, but six pieces that are full length pieces that flare out at the bottom. So although it fits on at the top, the top half fits on, I haven't got the width to get the, oh, let's put that back. I haven't got the width to get the bottom of this dress on that fabric so I was really really gutted about it however you do know that I had a backup fabric I'll just get it so this is my backup fabric in this gorgeous purple and it was very very reasonably priced it was five pound a meter and it's a crate back um, satin and I've got plenty of this and it's wide enough and it was from crafty so and so so I'm going to make the navy lining will still be fine with that as well um, I'm going to make up my dress in that um, which is a little bit disappointing because I had got my heart set on this burnout silk satin however in hindsight I'm probably not going to wear this ball gown again um, so it would seem it would have been a waste to use that fabric on something I was only ever going to wear once so I am have got plans it's my birthday in November 
I'm going, me and my husband are staying in the hotel we got married in, having a spa, etc. and a really nice meal. So I am planning on making something, um, a birthday dress in that fabric. So it'll still be a special dress, but not a ball gown dress and something that hopefully I'll be able to wear again and again. So I think it's all worked out how it was meant to work out. Um, but initially I was a bit disappointed. So yeah, this will be the fabric that my ball gown is in. I do have some ideas about making this a little bit more, um, not blingy because I'm not really a blingy person, but just accentuate it because obviously there's no pattern on this. It's very plain. So I have got some kind of um, applique that I might put on this, but I'll see. Um, but yeah, I need to get this cut out this week and sewn up. Now I do have Monday off work. So that is going to be my ball gown day. I'm going to hope to get the lining done um, over the weekend and get this cut out over the weekend and then on Monday I can just get sewing and fitting um, because there is going to be need some alterations to the um, how I sew this together to make it fit. So yeah, there we go. This is what happens in the world of sewing, isn't it? So yeah, never mind. But this is my dress. Those of you haven't seen, I've done a twirl, as you know, and I am really can't wait to get cracking and hopefully this is everything that I imagined it would be. So yeah, that was my drama with my ball gown. Okay, so next up I have also finished a garment. I had, I showed in my last Friday so that I was making the Marnie by Tilly and the Buttons. For those of you that haven't seen it, this is gorgeous. Um, I would say boho style um, smock dress and, and shirt. I've made the dress version and I made it in a fabric that I got from, from Fabric Godmother's Dream Wardrobe. And it, I'll just turn the um, camera around because it's up on the mannequin and I have got a picture of me so I will put a picture of me in it because I'm wearing it to work. Um, so I'll be able to put a picture in it of it. And I'll just turn the camera around now. So here we go, uh, this is my Marnie. I'll just um, bring it a little bit closer so you can see the lovely detail of the fabric. So it's a lovely ditzy print with, I'm really loving the pink and the blues and the oranges together. And I've gone for the frill version with the frills down the side and the normal neckline, but you can add um, a ruffle neck, you can do pin tucks as well. Um, but I just chose to do this one just because it was a busy print and I didn't think the pin tucks would really come up very much. And this is definitely just my style. Now the only thing I'd do differently next time is I would have doubled up and <clears throat> the fabric on the ruffle because you do get the white of the fabric there. And I had the intention of doing that but I just couldn't, I don't know what I've done with the scraps of this fabric. So I cut everything out was to put my scrap leftovers somewhere. Um, and then when I came to do the ruffles, I remember thinking, I know Rachel from Stitch Up always says about doubling up the ruffles so that you don't get that wrong side of the fabric. Um, so I decided to do that. And then could I find the fabric? I couldn't find it anywhere. So unfortunately, I just had to go with it. Um, you know, it's not the end of the world, but next time I definitely will do that. It's got a lovely yoke at the back and I've got this button on. I'll just zoom in on the button. So you can see this lovely gold button here, which was just a one-off that I had in my stash. And it's got a rollo loop that's, that's sticking it all, that's attaching it together. It's all gathered here. Gathered at the front and then gathered sleeves. And then you've got this, I don't know what this sleeve is called. Is it called a bell sleeve? I don't know. Um, but that's gathered in there as well and it's just really really nice and comfy now it is a little bit short than I would like um, I probably took a bit too much off the length but I'll be wearing this with tights I would imagine um, or leggings so I'm not too worried about that and boots so yeah oh and then the other thing is I did put a tag in labeling if I can find it which says oh which says one just a cute little label there. So yeah, that's my Marnie. I'll just turn the camera back round. The Marnie is a really, really lovely pattern. Tilly and the Buttons patterns are absolutely fantastic. Easy to follow. Um, the size in, I made, made the size three. Now, if I strictly went on my measurements, I would be the size four. 
Um, but when I looked at the finished garment measurements, it's got so much ease in it. It's got like <laughs> the bust, it's got 14 inches of ease. So I actually, in the waist, you've got 20 inches of ease. 22 inches of ease. So for me, it was a no brainer to go for the size three, which is normally what I am in Italy in the buttons. Um, and it's very size inclusive, well, six to 34. Instructions are really well laid out. Obviously, because there's different versions, it will say for the version with tucks, go to this section. Um, there's always tutorials on how to do some of these new techniques if, if you haven't done them before. So I really like that about Tilly and the Buttons. Really lovely pattern. I want to make the pin tuck one in the dress version, um, but with a chambray. I've got a really, I've got a couple of, I've got a couple of chambrays. Don't know if, let me just see if I can get my hands on them. <clears throat> yeah, I've got this one. So this is a really nice, I would say it's a denim, but it feels like much lighter. And it's this from Beyond the Pink Door. It's this denim, but it's got like an orange, orange like thread running through it. You see that? That's the reverse side. So yeah, it's more like a chambray weight, I would say, but it was described as a denim, so a very lightweight denim. Um, I think I've got two meters of that, so I don't know if I'd have enough actually. Oh uh, yeah, it's saying it needs three meters of fabric, so. I mean, I might be able to get it out of this. I mean, I definitely got that one out of two and a half, less than two and a half, um, because I only had two and a half meters of that fabric. So I'm hoping I could get it out of this one because it's not directional or anything. I could be quite clever with my um, pattern matching or whatever you want to call it. <laughs> Sorry, not pattern matching. Get, um, you know, pattern Tetris. I should be able to do it. So there's that one or the other one that I've got. I've got this um, chambray in a, and I've got this in the black as well. So I've got the black or the orange. So I'd probably go with the black one actually, because this is a bit more summery and I do have designs on a jumpsuit for this. Um, but yeah, probably, hmm, that would be quite nice together actually. Hmm. Interesting, anyway, that is a plan, but not a plan I'm doing anytime soon because I literally got so much to do, but I just thought I wanted to show you that. That I thought that would make you'd be able to see the pin tucks really nicely in that fabric. So yeah, if you haven't made the money yet, definitely make it. Definitely worth it. Right then, so the other thing that I have got cut out this week is my heather blazer. And as you know, I've made a twirl of my heather blazer in a purple cotton linen mix look fabric. And now I've cut out my heather blazer in this Frida Kahlo um, canvas. And I've got that ready to sew up. So that's the fabric and that's the lining. Very cute. Um, I did a Minara about sizing down on this because apart from the arms, the jacket did feel quite big, but it is meant to be oversized. So I've just gone with the medium with the thought that I could always take it in if I ever felt I needed to. Um, that's all cut out and ready to go. Um, that is something I've got to get finished by the end of September. So, the priorities, as I say, this week are ball gown first before anything else. Then the Heather Blazer will be my next thing that I do. Um, and then I'm probably not going to sew for about a year after that. <laughs> I'll be exhausted. But no, they are my two things that I am um, my priority this week. And um, the other thing that I did get this week, which I'll link a card to, is my Fabric Godmother box. It's an absolute beauty. Um, so if you want to check that out, it's only a very short vlog, an unboxing vlog. Um, you, I'll link the card up here and you can head over to the Fabric Godmother unboxing. What else have I been up to this week? So I have lost three pounds. So as a lot of you know, I've been trying to lose weight um, because I've put on about a stone and a half since I got married. Um, probably a little bit more actually than that and yeah this week I lost three pounds so I was really really happy about that um, you always want more don't you but yeah I'm feeling a lot better in myself and healthier and I've not had too bad a week this week so I'm hoping to lose a bit of weight this week as well 
And then the other thing that I did was I went along to the local, um, my local reservoir, which is called Chase Water. So it's a reservoir um, park. It's got deers, um, it's parkland. It's just really nice, especially on a lovely day. And Alice loves the park there. So we went there and um, yeah, I stumbled across this craft barn. It's actually called the craft barn. And it's, it's like a little Aladdin's cave of haberdashery, knitting, fabric, um, crafting delights really. Now it actually is all second hand and donated goods. So um, it's basically a recycle place for craft stuff. So really, really um, great from a sustainable um, making point of view. So when I walked in there, they had basically walls of um, bolts of fabric. Now it was predominantly upholstery fabric that companies have donated but then there's also was um boxes of fabric that was dressmaking fabric as well um cottons etc had a big wall of knitting of walls un unopened walls loads of crafting supplies so card glitter beads all of that they had a massive rack of um i would say all the trims and your buttons and stuff and then they had patterns as well loads of stuff now i only had like 15 20 minutes because my, hus my husband was looking after alice and the dog and i couldn't leave him for too long so i didn't have a massive a proper long time looking around there i could say i could probably stay spend an hour in there at least um but i did pick up a few things and i'm definitely going to go back but the first thing that i picked up was um some velvet now i think it probably is um upholstery velvet but i just fell in love with the color of it and it's quite it's like quite sheer but it's this gorgeous turquoise and i mean i don't even know how much i've got here probably just under two meters um and i thought this would make a gorgeous just um top of some description or cardigan you know just as that little layering piece and i just thought that was really really nice and it's actually really soft um that cost me three pounds <laughs> and it's in my color palette isn't it stunning it's got this like geometric design so yeah that was three pounds bargain love it and then the next thing was some cord can you believe this like now this has got that i think i've probably got a meter and a half here it's just a black really nice quality non-stretch cord brilliant and I've really got a pinafore, like some kind of like um, relaxed style pinafore for this. And then next to it was this fabric, which is like a poly viscose, I think, um, with these, it might be quite Japanesey really, um, these kind of like brush strokes or leaves, I don't really know, like an abstract really. Um, there's probably about just over a metre there, meet 1.2, 1.3. And I just thought a pinafore in this, with this underneath would look really really nice for the winter so a little um just t-shirt maybe blouse um that goes nicely under this would be really nice that was three pounds that was three pounds yeah amazing and then i did get a couple of patterns as well now with the patterns i was really annoyed because my husband kept ringing me <laughs> saying where are you so i did literally just have a quick scammer but there was this cardigan pattern which is mccall's like waterfall cardigan um and i really like um the main view um and that was 50p so i just thought bargain and then they also had this mimi g which i really liked as well great color blocking opportunities there um and that is in a knit it looked nice in a ponty of some description so yeah i got that one as well nice dress for work and that was 50p as well so it looks like all the patterns are 50p 
So that was just amazing. And what it also meant was that I've now got somewhere to donate stuff that I don't need anymore. So um, I've been really successful with my D stash account, sold loads of fabrics, but there's a couple on there that don't seem to, anybody doesn't seem to be interested in. And then I've got some patterns as well, which were ones that came with free magazines that again, no one seems interested in. So I'm just gonna go and donate them um, to the craft barn, get some out of my house, get some given to, hopefully somebody then that can can purchase it at a really good price and you know use it for something and make something really nice out of it so yeah i'm really happy that i found the craft bar yeah i'll probably go there again when i've got a bit more time and do some filming as well to show you okay so that is what i've been up to this week now next week what am i going to be doing well i've already kind of said haven't i sewing the lining i've got my day off on monday i'm going to sew my lining cut out my fabric main fabric on this weekend and then on monday i'm having a ball gown day so that's what i'll be doing i also would like to get cracking with the heather blazer make a start on it and then the other thing that i need to do is um work on my collaboration that i'm doing for so purple to end oh that's my phone so purple to end alz 22 i'm doing that in connection with in collaboration with michelle at michelle sews again real michelle sews again and um i'm going to be ice dyeing some loungewear in purple and i have had a little go at this already as some of you might have seen oh. i have put my instagram my results now this one was my um pillowcase that i did in purples and blues and I think actually I need to go a bit heavier on the purple next time because it is a purple challenge not a blue challenge um, but yeah everybody really liked this one and then the more aubergine tones was this one here but not as many people like this but I really like this corner of this so I think I just need to have another practice maybe with not as much grey um, but yeah really liked that as well but it was a really fun process and really addictive i will be vlogging about it when i actually do the real thing and in my vlog that is out on the 28th of september i'll show you how i went through it from start to finish because i'm a complete newbie to ice dyeing so i'll tell you how i kind of went about that and what my experiences are in a bit more detail but yeah there's, there's those three things i need to get done this week if anything's going to um, take a back seat out of those plans, it's going to have to be my Heather Blazer because the other two have got deadlines um, that aren't movable. Um, but I might speak to Claire and Crystal, um, who I'm doing the collaboration with, just to say if we could have an extra week would be really good. Um, I'm, sure they'll, I'm sure they'll let me. So yeah, so that is my plans for this week. And um, alongside that, I would probably will get my little Miss So-and-So. Um, so special subscription box which as you know I need to film and I always like to make that up as well so I can send you so show you the full vlog and um, so yeah it's gonna be busy overwhelming but it's a good job I love sewing isn't it <laughs> so I think that's all for me for now I hope you've enjoyed this vlog and if you have enjoyed it please can you click the like button if you don't subscribe already please can you consider, there, consider subscribing please and if you want to re um, support my channel further you can buy me a coffee with my Kofi account all the details are in the um blog below uh, in the comments below um, and yeah i appreciate any of those ways that you can show your support would be really really um grateful to you okay i'll see you all soon happy sewing bye